Murata. The Brewers put on a show in their home opener and there were plenty of fireworks as Milwaukee kicks off a six game homestand. We go out to American Family Field for the first game in front of home fans facing the Mets. Scoreless bottom of the third inning, Jesse Winker knocks it to left field. That scores Bryce Terang and the Brewers are on the board. Now the Brewers still looking for their first home run of the season and it comes from Brian Anderson. A two run shot makes it three nothing Brewers and coincidentally it's Brian Anderson with the call on Bally Sports Wisconsin. Now in the bottom of the fifth, the Brewers already up six nothing. Bases loaded for Terang and he hits his first career home run and it's a grand slam. Part of a seven run inning for the Milwaukee Brewers and a great day for per Freddie Peralta in his first home opening start. He went six innings with seven strikeouts, only allowing two hits as the Brewers went at 10 to nothing. Now Luke Gamble joins us from American Family Field with more on the story of the day. Hey Luke. Well, the Milwaukee Brewers have established a roster that's unlike many in the MLB with five newcomers in the starting lineup today. And the Brewers had nine of their runs come from those five guys. That included the rookie, Bryce Terang, making his presence known early in the big leagues. Terang turning in his first career home run in a big way on Monday, a fifth inning grand slam. And what it was was a memorable moment for the young guy. I felt great. Um... Man, these, my teammates have helped me a ton. Um, it also helps when you got Freddie going out there and pitching a gym and Bryce Wilson coming in um, and closing it out. Um, stuff like that, it, it, it's a team game. The, the thing we've talked about Bryce is that he's capable of impacting the game kind of in every different way. And um, you know, through the first four games, I think that's what he's done. Not the best day for Christian Yelich at the plate, but he was busy creating a memorable moment on the field after the game. Owner Mark Adanasio keeping this young fan in the stands long after security cleared out the place just so Yelich could finish her 17th birthday checklist. He signed the same ball he threw over a year ago to Caitlin Delmer from Oshkosh, a pretty special cap to the home opener. Reporting live in American Family Field for 27 Sports, I'm Luke Gamble. All right, thank you so much, Luke, and welcome to the 27 Sports.